Eight Bay Area counties, Alameda, Contra Costa, Marin, Napa, San Francisco, San Mateo, Santa Clara, and Sonoma have announced a uniform list of criteria that must be met before lifting the indoor mask mandate. Solano's not in the list. As you may remember, it was back in August when most counties enacted that mandate requiring everyone, regardless of vaccination status, to wear a mask in indoor places. And while there is now a goal to aim for, don't look for the mask to come off for at least a couple of months. Crown Force Dan Kerman, live in San Francisco tonight. He has more on this for us. Dan, help clear it up. Well, that's right. Well, these uh, criteria revolve around hospitalizations, community transmission, and the rate of vaccination. And there's some pretty steep numbers here. And as a result, it's likely most of these counties won't achieve this criteria for at least a couple of months. We will keep our requirement for indoor masking, regardless of vaccination status, uh, until we meet these metrics that we've adopted uh, across the Bay Area. Bay Area health officers have come up with a set of metrics or criteria that would allow counties to drop indoor mask mandates and at the same time prevent another COVID-19 surge. First, a county must reach the CDC's moderate or yellow COVID-19 transmission tier and remain there for at least three weeks. Right now, all Bay Area counties are in either orange or red, meaning substantial or high transmission. Second, county health officers must determine COVID-19 hospitalizations are low and stable. And finally, either 80% of a county's total population must be fully vaccinated or eight weeks have passed since the FDA authorized the COVID-19 vaccine for emergency use for 5 to 11-year-olds. I think with maybe the exception of Marin, the other counties will get it will get to the to that third criterion by uh, having eight weeks after the pediatric vaccines approved. UCSF epidemiology professor Dr. George Rutherford, who cautioned counties should not move too fast to lift the mask mandate, is pleased with the criteria, especially because the counties that won't be able to satisfy the 80 percent vaccination requirement will have to wait another two months after the FDA approves vaccines for those age 5 to 11. I think that pushes us, most likely pushes us into December, um, which has which plenty, you know, long enough tail for me. Um, and we'll have a chance to see uh, if we really can keep the, the, the transmission at the moderate rate. Looking down the road, health officials say it's possible some counties will have the mask mandate longer than others. So we will probably be lifting the indoor masking requirement at different times simply because the hospitalization and community transmission rates uh, differ by county as well as the vaccination rates. Now, that date to keep your eye on is the end of the month. That's when the FDA will take up that vaccination for young people ages 5 to 11. Now, remember, they approve it at the end of the month, then two months has to go by, eight weeks, before counties can satisfy that vaccination requirement. And then at that point, they can probably lift the mandate, but they still have to check on hospitalizations and community transmission and make sure those are still in check. Live in San Francisco, Dan Kerman, Crown 4 News. All right.